after a fire left an apartment building in ruins. The mayor of Batesville said there was an urgent need for donations. As Local 12's Brad Underwood reports, people sure did listen. Where's our women's extra large box? It has been a busy day, to say the least, inside the Memorial Building in Batesville, Indiana. Seemingly every couple of minutes, someone's walking in the door with bags of clothing or a check ready to be signed. And never in my wildest dreams did I think that within 24 hours, we'd have a, not just this room, but we have several rooms around the Memorial Building that are just full of clothing that we have received from citizens who just walking in off the street with bags of clothes. The hallways are lined with clothes. Multiple rooms and offices and even the entryway have massive piles of donations. Everywhere you look, you see how much good there is in Batesville. Personally, it's just uh, emotionally overwhelming. And so we're very fortunate to have uh, so many people who, who care about Batesville and our fellow citizens. Right now, the nine families are staying in a hotel, and the response from the community has been overwhelming. Just in a day, they've exceeded the clothing donations needed. Right now, they need cash and household items. And they've got some of those items now, but need more. Things like non-perishable food items, toiletries, baby supplies, paper products, and even luggage. Seeing all of this in just a day overwhelms Kelly Blanken. That gives me chills. It's just, um, I don't know, I just, when I think of all the kids, you know, without toys and um, people without clothes, I mean, they lost everything. Blanken knows exactly how the nine displaced families feel. Just three years ago, her family was in the same position after a kitchen fire. They were displaced for five months. It was devastating and it was just amazing. All the people that stepped up and um, gave us money and donated things and help and, you know, it's just... Um, the community needs to come together, I think, so I was happy to do it. I feel terrible for all of them. In all, 22 people need help, and in Batesville, no one is turning their backs on them. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And we have posted a detailed list of what's needed and how you can help if you'd like to. It's at local12.com.